Joining us now to talk a little bit about this matchup is the head coach of the Spartans, Mark D'Antonio. Coach, let's talk first about your team, kind of where you are right now. Offense, I know, has been a challenge down the stretch for you guys. What are you looking to get out of these bowl practices? Well, I think, number one, we've got to get healthy, um, sort of get reestablished offensively, and then uh, continue pressing the issue on defense. You know, I think, uh, you know, I think, as I said earlier today, you know, you want to be playing your best football at the end of your bowl season, and um, that's what we're going to try and do. And uh, we've got a great match matchup in, uh, in the Oregon game. Uh, on San Francisco, so we're very excited about that. Yeah, how much stock do you put in kind of using a bowl as a springboard and create some momentum heading into next year? Well, I think that's 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 what everybody tries to do. You want to, as again, you want to be playing your best football in that in that situation. So, but uh, I put a lot of stock in that. It gives you a feel good feel good uh, type thing when you leave um, your season. You know, at the end of your football season, you have a good feeling about it and. Uh, you know, you're trying to expand on that the next year. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into this. It's hard to win, and there's a lot of preparation yet to be done, and we're playing a quality opponent, great quarterback. You are playing a quality opponent, and, yeah, Justin Herbert can throw it all over the place. It's a team that averages more than 37 points per game. What's the biggest challenge here for your defense? Well, they, they, I think they average 190 yards rushing and then uh, like 275 or something like that throwing the football. But obviously it's to contain the quarterback based on what I'm hearing. But you got to play both ends of the stick there and make it one-dimensional. So, um, But uh, they got a great program. You know, we've got a history playing those guys in 14 and 15. This, you know, different coach, Coach Cristobal, obviously in his first year. But uh, uh, a, a solid program with a national brand and um, should be a great game at noon out there on uh, New Year's Eve. I'll leave you with this. Biggest off-season priorities for you in terms of getting back to where I know you want to be? Yeah, you know, you got to score more points. I don't think there's any question that you have to do that. You know, when you look at our, our season, if we're scoring points, we're probably winning 10 games. Um, but there's a lot of reasons for that. You know, as you go through it, there's there's a ton of reasons that surround that. And there's no simple fix in that matter. You know, you got to execute. And football is a game of repetition and execution. And uh, you got to start with that, and you got to win win a, your, your own little individual battle. So we'll take steps towards getting there, and uh, but we're excited about this opportunity uh, against a quality opponent and the uh, national game on Fox. So be a great situation for us. Should be great. Coach, congratulations, as always, on making it to the postseason. It is not something anyone should take for granted. Thanks, as always, for your time as well. Always very appreciative. All right, guys. Thanks, and go green.